videos of what Jesus did for people like you and I. People of God, remember that God has given someone like you a testimony which you've not shared. Send in that video testimony. People of God, send in, don't hold back that testimony. Send in that video testimony immediately and send it into this number 08055 I repeat, 08055 And if you're sending from out of Nigeria, because you're still at the code plus 234-8055-818653. Send in that video testimony of what the Lord has done for you. Please don't let it pass today. Send that video testimony immediately and people of God. Remember, it's only when that one leper came back that the Lord said, you have been made whole, healed, but not whole. But when he came back, the Lord said he's whole. Remember, you are one testimony away from your wholeness. Now, people of God, I'm sure you cannot wait. Take a look at what Jesus did for people like you and I. And when we come back, we'll eat of the flesh of Jesus and drink of his blood. What God cannot do is not easy. Pastor Jerry, we love you. We love you, Pastor Jerry. I'm Naomi Danjuma Udu, and I'm here to give God the glory for the life of our daughter, Davina Fintri Mam Danjuma Udu. Indeed, we've been praying on this altar, and we always pray over our children. Our children are not left behind. We pray over our children, and we see the hand of God upon their life. We say, indeed, our children are taught by the Lord, and great shall be their peace. During uh, the Easter break this year, 2024, we're trying to cut down on our screen time. So we introduced her to the jigsaw puzzles. And interestingly, she, she so loved it. Every morning, she just goes for her, her puzzles. And she was in so many of them. We got so many of those different puzzles for her. And she was able to do 32 various puzzles by herself. And she did all of this before she turned three years. So we thought of a way of advertising this talent. And we checked the net. And we stumbled on the International Book of Records. And we applied she did the challenge did all the video and everything and she got the award to be the youngest toddler to have done the maximum jigsaw puzzles she did 32 various jigsaw puzzles i want to say thank you to pastor jerry Eze for continuous prayers on this altar and we are here to give god all the glory to eroy the god that sees us because this award belongs to him and we're here to say what God cannot do does not exist. Pastor Jerry is a, we love you and we say may the oil on your head never run dry. What God cannot do is not that Pastor Jerry, we love you. We love you, Pastor Jerry. My name is Chine. I am giving this testimony from Scotland, Aberdeen to be precise. Um, I've been a member of NSPPD since 2021 um, when my doctor introduced me, sent me the link, told me about it and sent me the link. The testimony I have is about my, my eye. Since 2019 or 2018, well it's been a while, over five years anyway, I've had this, um, I had this condition called blepharitis um, is when the eyelid puffs up and the glands are blocked. The optician said just to heat it up, I have eye patch that I used to heat it up and also clean it, and rub it, you know, massage it. Also have eye drop that I use because what happens is that the condition, you know, the, the eye ducts are blocked so the eye is unable to produce enough tears to moisturize the eye so what i do with the eye drop is like help the eye you know, clean the eye and, and keep it less dry i also had ointment that i used to use overnight but i stopped using the ointment because every time i use it i couldn't do anything you know you can't see it blocks your whole vision so i've been using the eye drop and also the eye mask and <laughs> eh, you know, when pastor jerry says right you no know, right where you need god to heal you from that's always on my list god help me clear this eye issue because they told me that it's it's a condition that you just live with and you manage you can imagine my <laughs> excitement when um on the altar of fire i was just you know there listening praying and then pastor jerry mentions blepharitis blepharitis be gone Black varieties, black varieties, black varieties. If you are the one, put it on the live stream. The devil is a liar. The devil is a liar. What? 
I was so surprised because, <laughs> like I said, my prayer is, God, heal me of this eye, uh, dry eye. God, please heal me of this dry eye. That's my prayer. That's usually my point. Dry eye gone. Dry. But to use the word blepharitis, I was like, oh my god <laughs> this is me in fact i was so shocked that even when he said put it on the live stream i'm thinking uh, i was too shocked to even put it on the live stream but i finally put it on the live screen and i can tell you that <laughs> since then i wake up in the morning because usually when i wake up in the morning the eye is so dry i have to use eye drops sometimes i wake up at night because it's so dry you know that dryness and like something gritty something in your eye um sometimes i wake up at night and use the eye drop just to moisturize the eye um wake up in the morning most times i have to use my eye drop just again to give it a bit of relief but since then i haven't used the eye drop and the eyelid that used to be really puffed up you see it's you know turned up and puffed up it's no longer puffed up in fact it's it's like this this one now both of them are you know the same now you know i don't i've not use my eye mask that's blepharitis gone forever and ever nothing nothing that is it gone and i thank god for that and i want to thank you pastor jerry you know like everybody will say the oil on your head will never run dry and i want to say thank you for making yourself available thank you for being there and standing in the gap for us i'm here to testify uh, to the glory of god what the lord did for me um, I worked uh, previously as a technical safety engineer uh, with an oil company in the United Kingdom and for seven years I worked tirelessly putting in everything 150% no promotion no salary review but people were getting it and it was painful due to this time 2020 during COVID my friend Iboro God bless you glory to me Veronica all of you that used to harass me on Facebook Instagram everything God bless you for sending me the link so I joined NSPPD uh, prayer in November 2020 and um, the first time I saw it I was like I'm gonna stay here and um, everything started rolling out regarding my job there were so many things that came up and I went and I, I just needed a conviction that that place wasn't for me I went and asked them for a salary review they said we don't have a policy for that I told them but you reviewed for A and B is it because of the color of my skin they said no we don't have a policy I left it and I went and applied for a new role and as God will have it since the day I made that application I was every morning I was getting guidance from the altar make the application it is competitive um there's so many people but it's not by your mouth it's not by your knowledge anything but it is by the grace of god to just summarize it i got the job and how it happened pastor jerry said before 12 o'clock nigerian time you will get your congratulation and we had a meeting in the office that day at 12 30 i said let me quickly go have my lunch in the canteen i was in the canteen and around 11 11:45 or thereabout, I got a call from the company to say congratulations you've got the job I was so excited about the job that I didn't even bargain for salary I left the other job because of salary I was so excited because the package was good I had an old car and they said they're gonna give you a, an official car you have to choose what car you want so you have to choose the spec everything that went in package everything and again pastor Jerry was praying about global uh, visibility this job has taken me this year i've been to south africa i've been to the u.s wedding refiner i've been everywhere now the recent one that i've got two weeks ago i was like i'm coming here to give this testimony i did i developed a training package for the company and i rolled out and the recognition i got even tapped the senior vice president of the company the company i work for is one of the big five of the oil and gas company globally and the senior vice president was starting and send me a congratulation this is the global visibility that we're talking about also to round it up in 2021 um pastor jerry will say women in the 30s 40 50s that wants to get married i will casually just let me just do it obey and um this was 2021 i remember specifically i've forgotten the date it was second week of october Pastor Jerry said, it will happen before the year end. And in my bedroom, I was preparing to go to work. I laughed. I said, this is funny. And I'm not even in a relationship. The next thing I heard was, you're saying you're not in a relationship. It will happen within a month. I threw away my phone. I had to check. I was like, is there a CCTV? Somebody monitoring me here. But anyway, that was October. On the 25th, 
of November, my husband reached out to me, he called me. That was one month after the word was declared. Then on the 23rd of, no of December, he flew in to the UK. We met for the first time again after another one month. And then he left. He came back to Nigeria. For some reason, he just decided to go see my family. And my family now called me that somebody came here and said, I know. So, and that was it. The next thing we started talking about marriage. In April, we went to Paris. He proposed to me. In May, I came back to Nigeria. We did the introduction. And he was like, let's do the court. Well, I said, no, hold on a bit. It's too fast. I really need to think because he was working here with an oil and gas in Nigeria. I was in the UK. I was like, I don't want to do this time's relationship. So we prayed about it. And I told him, do you know the commitment involved? He said, yes. He prayed about it. And in August, we came back. I came back here. We did our registry. And that same, the following month, he moved to the UK. Because we wanted our families to be able to fly in from Canada, US, Nigeria, everybody. We had the blessing last year. In fact, I was the one that delayed it, even though it would have happened in another month. But I want to give God the glory for everything. And I'm giving this testimony. I actually flew in this morning from London against all odds. So I just want to say thank you, Pastor Jerry. Thank you for everything you do. What God cannot do does not exist. My name is Joy. I'm testifying from Imo State. I'm the woman God showed great mercy. It's like about two years plus. I have a boy in my tongue. I snap it and show it to my daughter. My daughter said I should come over. She took me to the hospital. After necessary investigation, I was diagnosed of cancer of the tongue. I started treatment. I do radiotherapy and chemotherapy. After like about one year, I felt very sick. My daughter took me back to hospital and did CT scan. When the result came out, they said the cancer had spread everywhere, both lungs and every part of my body. I was admitted in the hospital. After like about three days, I can't break normal again. They applied to me oxygen. Then my daughter was a member of fire altar. She prayed and asked God to heal me, that she will not be in this fire altar and lose her mother. I know nothing about fire altar then. My daughter continued praying to God, asking for healing. The next day, Pastor Jerry mentioned my case. Cancer of tongue reversed. Cancer of the tongue, cancer of the tongue. I don't know who you are. Cancer of the tongue, by the power that raised Jesus from the dead, I command, let it be reversed right now. Then my daughter ran to the hospital. Call me, mommy, Pastor Jerry mentioned their case, that you will go home alive, you will not die. I claimed, amen. Then she in instructed the nurse to remove the oxygen from me. The nurse insisted that it was the instruction given to him, her, by the doctor. After much argument, she ran and told the doctor what my daughter said. Doctor came by himself and asked her why. She said, the God in the fire for altar has taken care of everything. Finally, they remove the oxygen. After like about two or three days, they're waiting to hear a, a, like a bad news. They hear no bad thing. I was breathing normal. Then after two days, my, my daughter said they should discharge me. The doctors came and asked, her. What come about this sudden miracle? She told them, what God cannot do does not exist. They came in groups and asked, what came about this sudden miraculous healing? My daughter replied to them, you said my mother will, will not be well again, that she will remain in the oxygen till the end, that she has chances of living 20 over 80. Then, the God in the fire altar where I belong came down and killed my mother for you people to see it with your eyes. All of them shouted, wonderful, they discharged me. We went back home. After about four months, I have an appointment in the hospital. I go back to test for test again. The same person that did this CT scan test was the, pe the person that did 
MRI net and brain. After the result, no cancer said everything. They, that, 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 those cancer, she said that would spread everywhere. Nothing was seen. No cancer cells seen. She did it more and more and more and more whether to see whether she made a mistake. Still, nothing was seen. We came back home. After one year of an appointment, by then, I joined the NSPPD. We went to the appointment. They did MRI, neck and brain. Lo and behold, the Lord done it finally. Everything normal, normal. No spread, no cancer cell seen. This is my evidence. I have a new name. My new name is Cancer Free. Thank you, Pastor Jerry. If you did not answer this call, I could have been among those millions of people that have died of one problem or the other. May God bless you abundantly. I joined the millions of people that said, the oil in your head will never run dry. God bless you. What God cannot do does not exist. And as we be the answer, That there is a miracle hey, hand hey, over. Hey, hey, Celebrate hey, the Lord. Hey, hey, Celebrate hey, the Lord. Hey, Somebody hey, give the Lord a love hey, song. Hey, you are the mighty Jesus. God. Hey, the great I am. Jesus. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. Uh -huh. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. You are the mighty God, the great I am. Hallelujah, Hallelujah. Somebody shout Jesus here. People of God, I, 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 I don't know that you understood this testimony the way I understood it. So she had cancer of the tongue, went through um, chemotherapy and radiotherapy and finished it when...